Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to turn these scraps into this. Stick around, I'll show you how. Alright, so in the last video we took a bunch of old ripped up baits, we remelted it down and we made some stick baits out of it. Uh, this is actually the exact same plastic we used. If you missed that video, I'll link it down below. But a lot of guys were wanting to know if you could take all these old baits melt it down, add a bunch of black color, and then add a bunch of blue flake and make your standard black and blue. So we're going to go over a couple different ways to do that. As I mentioned, this is the exact same plastic as what we used in the first video. And then we're also going to use some of this. So what this is, I keep a lot of my plastics in these little Tupperware containers. So I have like all my purples, I have a bunch of pinks, whites so on and so forth so i keep a bunch of things color coded and what i like to do is i'll go through and if you can see in here almost everything in this cup either has just black flake or no flake in it at all what you can do with this is when you kind of minimize the flake colors because in this first one let me actually grab a piece of this you can see there's all different kinds of flake there's blue green yellow purple a little bit of everything and you can still get a good black and blue out of that but you can get a little bit better product out of this so we're going to melt these down we'll be right back and i'll show you what we're going to do all right so we got this first round melted all back down we're going to take some 0 0.040 royal blue flake we're going to take a quarter teaspoon and we're going to add two scoops so it's going to be half teaspoon total and then we might even add more depending on how this looks, but let's see. Because if you remember in the first video, we added a ton of pigment to try to hide a lot of the flake. So since we did that, you're actually gonna have to add more than normal. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna add that same amount again. So we're actually gonna be at a full teaspoon of blue flake. And we still might not be able to see it too well. This wind is blowing my flake everywhere. But all right, we're going to get all this mixed in. We're at two, one full teaspoon of blue flake, and we're at about two measuring cups of plastic. I'm going to get all this stirred in. We'll inject the first round, and then we'll check it out. Here we go with round one. We'll let that cool and then we'll check it out. We are cooled off. We're gonna open this mold up and see what they look like. I picked a mold that's gonna have a thicker part and a thinner part because it will make a big difference on the style of bait that you choose. The thicker parts of the body will hide a lot of the flake and then the thinner parts you'll be able to see a little bit more. So you can see we do get a lot of that blue flake coming through. You'll still in spots see like right up here on this one you can see like the red and green flakes. But for the most part it's still just a really good usable black and blue color. But yeah, there is the first round. Like I said this is the same plastic we used in those stick baits. You can see a lot of that blue flake. Keep in mind on two cups of plastic I normally am going to use around a quarter teaspoon. So this is actually four times the amount of flake that I would normally use to get this effect, but you can still get a good solid black and blue. So now we're gonna take the second cup, we'll get it melted down, we'll add some flake, and then we'll compare the two. All right, we got that second cup all melted down. It's always kind of cool when you're remelting a bunch of old colors, what the colors mix and turn into. Uh, but again, we're just gonna take our black color. Just gonna start by adding, we're not gonna count drops. We're going to get all this stirred up. And you'll notice, so like, see how in the middle you can see it all looks black and then on the edges of the cup, it's still that other color. Make sure when you're doing this that you're kind of scraping the edges of the cup to get it all blended in. It might take a minute to get it all mixed up, um, but just make sure that all the because what it does is the plastic on the edge of the cup is actually starting to dry a little bit so once you get all that scraped over into the middle it'll all melt back down and be one solid color 
I'm gonna add just a little bit more. It's still not quite dark enough. All right, I think we're getting there. We're gonna add just a little bit more color and then we'll add our flake, shoot this around and compare the two. We're gonna take that same 0 .040 Royal Blue Flake. I'm gonna start with a half teaspoon again. Let's see where that gets us. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit more again. So that'll be three quarters of a teaspoon. I think we're gonna stop there. Here we go with round two. And for anyone curious, I know a lot of guys like to know specifics. I'm injecting this mold around 315 degrees. You can go a little bit colder, but that's just a good solid number that I usually try to go for. Every mold's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, molds that are thicker bodied baits, you want to inject a little bit colder, smaller baits, you can get away with doing a little bit hotter. Yeah, we'll let this cool, we'll check it out, and we'll compare. And here is that second round. You can see all that blue flake coming through, using all that plastic with just black flake. And there was actually a little bit of purple flake in there, so you might see some of that. But this is what we get with that second round. We'll grab a couple of the ones from the first round, and we'll compare. So you can see this first round, the black is actually a lot richer. And what that is, that's just more black pigment. So the more pigment you add, the richer the color you're gonna get with the black, but the more that it's gonna subdue and kind of hide those flakes. So it's kind of just a mix of what you want. On both of these, I'll try to get them close for you. Just really good colors. You can take that just about anywhere and catch fish on them. But yeah, here we go. These are the, th these three over here are the ones from the stick bait plastic from the first video. These are the ones that we just mixed up today. Um, both of them really good colors. I'm gonna use this bait a lot for punching. I rig these a lot on a chatter bait vertically. So those two tail, t or the fins back there are kind of kicking like a tail fin. But yeah, really good baits. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. Do you wanna see more of these remelt videos? Would you like to see something new? Not all remelt has to look really bad. Um, I actually have a bait, a couple baits hanging up Kieran over here. So this is all remelt. This is just a bunch of random green pumpkin remelt laminated with an orange remelt. It looks really, really good. If you guys want to see me create some more stuff out of remelt, or if you want to make some new colors, just give us some suggestions down below. We can definitely make it happen. I appreciate you guys watching. Once we hit a couple of these subscriber landmarks, we're going to do some really big giveaways. And uh, I'd like to give back to you guys for helping support the channel and watching these. But yeah, like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, comment down below, let us know what you want to see next. And thanks for watching.